So uh, I've got a I've got a top five list for you. Well, due respect, TJ, you've got your Love big ass list. grab bag tomorrow. Yes, but uh, I've decided to rank in my mind the top five players in the NFL returning from significant injury that's going to have the biggest impact. So the top five most impactful returning from injury players of 2022 in the NFL, I would like some NFL Films music to get me in the mood to get us through this top five list, and I appreciate that. Let's go. All right, number five on this list is close to home for me. Um, You all need pass rushing in this league, and certainly if you've got uh, a young secondary like the Jets have, I know Sauce Gardner hasn't given up a touchdown since high school, Um, but it certainly helps if you have a pass rush that can get home, and that is exactly what the Jets have been missing significantly. Number five on this list is uh, Carl Lawson, who blew out his Achilles last year. We have not seen Carl Lawson since he was a Bengal in 2020. The Jets signed him in free agency to pair him on the same line with Quinn and Williams and go hunt like he did in 2020. He led all defensive linemen with 32 quarterback hits. Robert Sala calls him a freak. He's come back and it looks like he's all the way back from blowing out his Achilles last August. He's a 27 year old kid from Auburn and he may be one of the most impactful players if the Jets can get him rushing the passer and Sauce Gardner covering it on the back end and the offense does what it's supposed to do. I think he is one of the top five players that can have the biggest impact returning from injury. And the, to make this list, you've got to have missed the entire season, if not pretty damn near most of it. So he's number five on this list. Number four on the list is a guy who the Jacksonville Jaguars chose in the first round of last year's draft and paired him with the first overall pick in last year's draft. A first rounder from last year's draft who had a Liz Frank injury in the second preseason game. Travis Etienne. Mm -hmm. He is back and he looks all of that plus the biscuit. Yes, he does. And he even said this about his role in this offense. Now, Doug Peterson's offense. Peterson. That he said he wouldn't mind if he played a Debo Samuel role. Oh. Now, he's a running back who can catch it out of the backfield. Then you're like, okay, you're a running back. What do you mean Debo's not a running back? He's a wide receiver who plays running back. Debo is six foot 216. Travis Etienne is 5'10", 215. So he can pack a wallop, maybe not as big and tall as Debo, but he is a 25th overall pick of last year's draft who we did not see at all last year. And uh, he's also uh, tight with the quarterback, as you know, college days. This was uh, ATN crashing uh, Trevor Lawrence's press conference just a couple days ago. How does it feel to have ETN in the backfield? <laughs> <laughs> drawing, yeah. drawing his... His gloves with your uh, towel again. I didn't miss that. I'm going to have to wear an extra towel because he's always taking my towel. But, no, it's great to have my guy back. Uh, been together for a while. Missed him last year. Just excited to have him back. He's going to add a, a very explosive element to our, our offense. Uh, he's going to help us a lot. And just get, getting back to some winning around here. So we're excited. I kind of dig it. The leading rusher in the history of the ACC, by the way, yep. is coming back from injury and we haven't seen him play a single NFL down yet. I'm looking forward to that. Number three on the list of most impactful players returning to action uh, from injury is Jeff Akuda of your Detroit Lions. I mean, this kid from the Ohio State, he blew out his Achilles in the first game last year and he is back with no limitations. You're going to see him on hard knocks. The coach loves him. Wouldn't that be interesting if the rest, uh, roar gets uh, restored by this kid on the back end from Scarlet and Gray and uh, the Maize and Blue kid up front getting home fast and Adrian and Aiden Hutchinson to get Jeff Akuda more picks thrown his way. Everybody talking about the Lions being better than you think. This is one reason why he's coming back to injury. I think he's going to have a significant impact on Aaron Glenn's side of the ball. That's number three. Number two is another Buckeye. This guy, now, the, 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 there's question if he's going to be ready for the season. He has made uh, it sound like as he will be. But what is J.K. Dobbins going to look in this Ravens offense 
he blew out his knee. Remember, it was him and and uh, Gus Edwards on back, the, like back to back uh, days. I mean, what a brutal day in uh, late season uh, uh, of uh, late preseason last year, right before the beginning of the season. J.K. Dobbins, if he comes back on time, and I think he he will, but once he does get back and starts rolling, this offense will be far more significant, especially if we're not going to get much of a passing game out of Baltimore again from the wide receiver position. But J.K. Dobbins, I think, is terrific. He can wear you out. He can be one of the best running backs in this league like he was in the Big Ten. And I think uh, the sky's the limit for him. I hope he is as healthy as the Ravens hope, and he says he is because that makes him number two on this list of the most impactful players returning to injury. And again, uh, there's a theme here. There's a theme here, and um, I don't have a problem with it. As you know, I speak my piece here. It's from the heart. It's from the gut. Because number one's a Buckeye on this list, too. Can't guard Mike when he's that good. Can't guard Mike when he is that good. And let's see if Michael Thomas is still as good as the guy that caught everything from Drew Brees and broke records and is one of the best at the wide receiver position when he is healthy. And he is back. He returned to practice on Tuesday for the first time in 18 months. A year and a half it's been since he's back with the New Orleans Saints with the Florida Lee on the side of the helmet. Clearly, we'll see if Jameis is the guy and as good as we hope he can be. But Michael Thomas can easily be far and away, despite how talented the rest of this list is, the most impactful player returning from injury in 2022 in the National Football League. That's my list. And did you see Mike Thomas's tweet yesterday? No, I did not, sir. (laughs) I did not. He, he what was wrote, it? Y'all favorite fantasy doctor lied and then had the Pinocchio face. <laughs> Meaning that he's not going to be back in any way. Meaning he's not going to be ready for the start of the season or he's not as good as he once was. Yep. So. It's not a lie. Thank you. If you believe it. So, you know, I was thinking of putting Christian McCaffrey on this list, but he he did play, you know, almost a quarter of the season last year. I wanted, I, wanted, I wanted guys who didn't play at all last year or were barely like Okuda, barely played. Yeah. You know, 